It's no secret that soundtracks are an integral part to making a movie feel complete. But in the hit film Baby Driver, the soundtrack takes on a life of its own, so much so it's practically a character in itself. But not to worry, this movie is not a musical. Each song doesn't just start playing out of thin air. It comes from somewhere tangible, like a radio or headphones, which gives the movie a real and authentic feel. Baby Driver is about a getaway driver named Baby who helps criminals escape heists, all while listening to a killer soundtrack through his headphones. Due to a childhood car accident, Baby develops tinnitus in his ear and uses music to drown out the ringing, but also uses music as an escape from his life of crime. He times his getaways to the beat of his music as a way for him to mask the criminal activities he's doing with a sort of musical performance. Baby literally and figuratively uses music to drown out his problems. You can tell through his collection of sunglasses and iPods that Baby's been in the carjacking business for a while and despite his distaste for criminal life, he's pretty good at it. Throughout the movie, Baby struggles to keep his job separate from his normal life but finds that the division between both worlds isn't so clear anymore and winds up deeper involved in a life of crime when he falls in love. The movie has an old school vibe because of its soundtrack and beautiful cinematic shots in retro locations like diners, laundromats, and the streets of Atlanta. It was written and directed by renowned screenwriter Edgar Wright, who already has cult hits like Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World under his belt, so it's no surprise that Baby Driver would be just as good. The movie also boasts a star-studded cast with Kevin Spacey, John Hamm, Jamie Foxx, Isaac Gonzalez, Ansel Elgort, and Lily James. Wright first got the idea for Baby Driver years ago when he heard the song Bell Bottoms by the John Spencer Blues Explosion and envisioned a driver jamming out to this song as he awaits a getaway and ends up in a car chase as the music builds to a fast-paced rock rhythm, which is exactly how the opening scene of Baby Driver starts out. At one point, Baby even restarts the song before driving away despite being under pressure, otherwise he felt his timing would be off. Wait, wait. I gotta start the song over. But this was done with a purpose. A stunt couldn't be completed within the span of a song, so Wright simply restarted it to allow more time. Every song choice is extremely deliberate and drives the plot forward. Actor John Hamm even mentioned that the script came with a flash drive, including the songs for them to listen to as they read through the script, which shows that Wright wrote the script with the songs already in mind and not in post-production. What makes Baby Driver so great is the meticulous attention to details and how carefully crafted they are, from the dialogue to the wardrobe choices. Each scene foreshadows something in a subtle way, so watching the movie is so rewarding when something pays off in the end. No detail is wasted as, as it comes back into play in the story somehow. Every gunshot, car door slam, alarm, and tire screech is timed to the beat of the music, which is even more impressive when you find out that editing had nothing to do with it and it was all choreographed and timed to perfection by the acting and directing. What's he listening to? Well, let me check. Tequila! Even the car stunts were carefully thought out, making sure stunts were actually feasible given all the safety features cars seem to have nowadays. Honestly, the car scenes in this movie were better than those in other action movies because of the research that went into making them possible beforehand. Films like The Fate of the Furious don't stand up because they were CGI'd and lacked a real authenticity to them. This kind of attention to detail is what makes Baby Driver so enjoyable to watch. In a summer saturated with sequels, remakes, and adaptations, it was refreshing to see an original script like Baby Driver stand out, and even better when its story is actually good. Overall, I give Baby Driver 9 out of 10, and if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. For more reviews like this, please check out our channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know what you thought of Baby Driver in the comments. My name is Abby, and this has been Heads Up Display.